hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so in this session i'm here with the grid file modeling for a cft analysis so we have the airfoil so that we need to modify according to the requirement uh the you could see the image you now the flap structure at the bottom to produce the high drag we need to model it let's see how exactly we can do this hmm? well so i'll go to this airfoil flutter website and uh, with respect to my requirement i'll just use the 150 mm card and uh, i'll just flood this uh, csv foil for naga 63 airfoil and uh, you can just create a folder you can save that file and from here you can just simply copy the coordinates this is for solidworks you just need the xyz coordinates but for answers you need uh, uh, two extra col columns that is one with series and uh, series of one two three up to a certain extent and last file should be last cell should be zero that i had already explained in the video you can refer that one later now i had copied these coordinates so Control c and uh, I'll switch to this here control b z coordinate should be zero i'll just drive it downwards okay so this is done you can save this as text file so i'll just browse the location so airfall project excel so here i'll just name it And save it as text format okay so basic care foil now once you save this i can go back to the solid box let's see this is the file for your reference all the coordinates are here and now go to insert from there curves and then curve to xyz browse for the file location and for project and here the text file just open it if you already open the excel at the back end you need to close this okay now just browse the file again the location text basic care file and just select this and open now it's ready click ok and now extract this and create the domain for this i'd like to utilize the front main select this call convert into this now card with the domain create a circle first simply like this and then the closure at the back end i'd like to use the profile tool like this now we need to dimension it i'll do it for you guys so later on you can just refer these values 1560 and 750 is the diameter okay and this should be exactly at the center i'll simply delete this and i'll place it at the center you can even use the 60 percent of the cord the cord length is 150 mm so these two horizontal now smart dimension from this point to this i'll keep it 60. this looks fine so if you want you can again reduce it according to the requirement 
this domain is to just mesh it and uh, run the advanced uh, transient analysis get turbulence analysis and all so this is fine so these are the dimensions for your reference in meters okay 1.5 one and the other okay i have taken thousand and thousand five hundred thousand diameter thousand five hundred length okay yep save this this only always try to create a structured folders so later on if you want to search for the files it's better so even you can use the configurations but even if i use the configuration here every time again i need to save this as a file and solidworks files and all so to avoid it simply I'll create the new fold folders and i'll save it accordingly for step file separate for solidworks files it is separate folder okay this is the basic air file i'll save it this is done now and this only i need to uh, make some modifications to increase the drag so this is the air file this is one of the project which i'm going through so that particular uh, flap structure should be uh, with respect to a different uh, percent of chord length so it is 0.25 percent of c so whatever the c you're considering that is 0.25 percent so 150 mm that is 0.25 percent you can calculate and value can add it here i'll start modeling that particular structure okay i'll utilize the line tool and uh, I'll draw the rough sketch first like this and for this I need to add the dimension I'll use the smart dimension tool and from here to here it is in meters you can calculate at the back end I'll take it 0.00375 and this also I'll consider the same value so the values are not visible so you can customize your unit system later on can you trim that part later so let me go to the unit system add a document and from here for length it is only two decimals visible you can just increase it to up to five decimals or six decimals depends so right now i'd like to have it five decimals this is fine i'll trim the structure yep this is fine so let me just do the calculations for you guys to understand so it is 0 0.15 that is 150 mm into 0 0.25 percent divided by 100 this is 0 0.00375 okay this height we are talking about this we need to modify uh, as 0 0.00375 it is triple zero actually and this is also the same thing it is not double zero triple zero okay yep so the first module is ready now we can start with the other modules like uh, it is 0 0.25 and then 0 0.50 and then 0 0.75 1 1.52 percent of the chord length uh, structures i need so in this video i have just showcased how to create these things just follow up i'll be on mute for the same thing
yep so like this you can create your uh, airfoil models depending upon the requirement just try to save them in a structured manner so that you can access these uh, files later on to deal with the SolidWorks or OpenFoam or Ansys CFX or Ansys Plant. Well, so that's all about this session. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Bye, everyone.